Let's go. Shalom, most high in Christ bless. This is Officer Bacar, and I'm here with Officer Mikael. We're outside today yeah. to do an A special edition yeah. of A. Cuts from the Streets. Yeah. Mother's A. Day. So we came out here to this plaza. We got a few stores. We're about to run down on some people. We're about to see where their mind is at concerning this wicked pagan holiday. So stay tuned. Shalom, most high in Christ bless. So what was your name? Okay, I have Hector here, and what we're going to talk about is Mother's Day. So let me just ask you a couple questions regarding Mother's Day. Is that cool? Yeah, 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 that's good. Okay, so now, as far as Mother's Day is concerned, do you understand the origin of it? Um, yeah, I mean, it's really pretty simple to understand, you know. So now, do you think Mother's Day is something that you can find in the Bible? Can we find Mother's Day in the Bible? Uh, I mean, you, if you get to find that a little more, like, what do you mean? Can you find Mother's Day in the Bible? Okay, no problem. So, like, for example, does God say that we should celebrate Mother's Day, for example? I mean, I don't think, I don't think it says anything about an actual Mother's Day, if I'm not mistaken. But, I mean, it's just, I think it's just something we should, you know what I'm saying? We should just do as humans. This is Bacalm here with my brother. Nate. Nate. So I stopped my brother just to ask him about Mother's Day. So can you tell me why do we celebrate Mother's Day? Mother of the Earth. Because of the Mother of the Earth? Mother of the Earth. She, she, she is. Every mother is our mother. Okay. You know what I'm saying? I mean, without her, it wouldn't be us. Okay. You know, so it's... So you're saying uh, we celebrate Mother's Day because the Earth is our mother? Is, is that what you're saying? I just want to be clear. No, but what, we call the mother of the earth. We call our mothers the mothers of the earth. Got you. Okay, okay. If you go back to Africa, that's, that's the mother of the earth. I got you. Okay, very good, very good. So, like, for example, we're given 365 days in a year, right? right? So we don't need to be allocated to one day. Right. So let me show you something according in the Bible. Watch this. So if you can. Yes, sir. So this is the book of Leviticus, chapter 23 and verse 1. We're reading out of the King James Version Bible. And the Lord spake unto Moses, saying, Speak unto the children of Israel, and say unto them, Concerning the feast of the Lord, which ye shall proclaim to be holy convocations, even these are my feasts. Six days shall work be done, but the seventh day is the Sabbath of rest. So what you're looking at here is... Leviticus chapter 23 explains all the holidays that we are to keep inside of the Bible. That's what was given to us, right? But go to Mark chapter 7 verse 9. But let me show you what happened over a dispensation of time. So you do understand that like uh, because of how, you know, this world is, we spend a lot of money on these days, right? Because of marketing and stuff like that. You know, so how much money have you spent so far? Nothing yet, but I'm about to go in there and spend some right now. Not much, but you know what I'm saying? I'm about to spend a couple dollars on it. Okay, so almost high in Christ. Bless everybody. This is Officer Mikael, and I have here with me... Mo. Mo? Yeah. Okay, all praise to the Most High. So we're going to ask Mo about Mother's Day. So what's your take on Mother's Day, if you don't mind me asking? My take? Um, yes. Just a day to celebrate the mothers and give things, but I think it should be every day, but I guess today's a special day okay mo you said very well every day we should allocate to our mothers right so now let me ask you another question can we find mother's day inside of the bible um i don't know actually i don't know i don't think so i don't know okay <laughs> very good so now is mother's day something we should celebrate in the name of the lord or is that something that lord the lord would be okay with us doing well, is this, excuse me. Is that something that we should be doing, like, in the sight of God? Um, I don't know about the name of the Lord, but I think um, it's just like any holiday, right? Like Valentine's Day is just a day, I guess, people take off just to acknowledge a special person. But like I said, I think it should be every day. Um, but I don't think it should be in the name of the Lord. Most high Christ bless. This is Officer Bakar, and I'm here with... Dine. 
my sister Danae. So, my sister, let me know about Mother's Day. Why why is it we celebrate Mother's Day today? I think Mother's Day is um is a very good thing to celebrate because mothers all over the world that have children, if it wasn't for us, there wouldn't be any sons or daughters. Mm -hmm. And mothers, most mothers, they take care of their kids, send them to school, make sure they eat and drink, wear clothes and everything that is good. Mother is the best thing in the world. Mm -hmm. So to me, I appreciate everything about Mother's Day. Are you familiar with the history at all concerning Mother's Day? Somewhat. Somewhat? Yeah. Are you able to tell me just a little bit about it? Pretty much. Uh, when I, I, well, when I learned from, from my grandmother and my great-grandmother and all that stuff, mm -hmm. you know, they celebrate it like in Africa, you know what I'm saying? They celebrate Mother's Day because, like they said, they're the Mother of the Earth. They, they're, you know, so we celebrate it. Understood. So it's more so, it's more so like a tradition. It's That's more like a tradition. Okay, no problem. So let me ask you a question. Do, do you believe in God at all? Absolutely. Do you think that God told us to celebrate Mother's Day? I don't know whether he told us to celebrate it uh, or not. Uh. But you want to know. You want to know if he, if he told us yeah. to celebrate it? Yeah. Okay, so, so I have my brother here. Let me get um, Matthew 15 and 3. So first, let's deal with the traditions, right? Because mm -hmm. we... That's how we were growing up. I was growing up learning traditions, thinking that they had some association with the Bible. But you come to find out that it's it's very transparent, very obvious what God says we should celebrate and should not celebrate. So are you ready to learn? I probably already heard it before. I already heard it. All right. So let's get the book of Matthew, chapter 15 and verse 3. This is the book of Matthew, chapter 15 and verse 3. But he answered and said unto them. Why do ye also transgress the commandment of God by your tradition? Because we grew up thinking that things like Mother's Day, Christmas, Halloween, we think that these traditions, God is happy with them because they're called holidays. But yeah. according to the Bible, it's, it's not found in there that it says that you should keep these days. Well, see, my grandmother, my grandparents, we never treated it as a holiday, okay. number one. Number two these holidays that they go on like christmas is a pagan holiday right number one mm -hmm. so you know what i'm saying so uh, if you go back to the history of the pagans and why they celebrated it, mm -hmm. it tells you right there so this is the book of mark chapter 7 and verse 9 and he said unto them full well you reject the commandment of god that ye may keep your own tradition for moses said honor thy father and thy mother and whoso curseth father or mother let him die the death. So listen, so you heard what the Bible said. It says that we follow after our own tradition, right? So Mother's Day, for example, is our own tradition. That's not in the Bible. But what the Bible does say is that we have to honor our father and mother. You understand? So there is a level of reference there. But it ain't going spending money. No, 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 no. It, that's what I was saying. Like, it's not, it's not, you just said it yourself. It's not, it's just a reference. Like, it's not... It's something we do as a tradition out here to go spend money and buy a card or come with a gift or do something like that. You know what I'm saying? Like, presents should be it. That should be it. Same with Christmas. It's, it's a lot of... Oh, lot of no money. Christmas. So these holidays were created to, uh, to keep us in a perpetual right. sin, for example, because we're not keeping God's commandments. Right. And what he told us to do, for example, in Leviticus 23, we're doing what we want to do. And that's why Christ had to say that. So watch this. This is the book of Colossians, chapter 2 and verse 8. Beware, lest any man spoil you through philosophy and vain deceit. So Mother's Day is a philosophy in a vain deceit because the Bible tells us to honor our mother and our father. Can you agree with that? Right. Yep. Continue. After the tradition of men, after the rudiments of the world, and not after Christ. Right. So these customs are the basis of the foundation of the world we live in today. You know, that's why everybody understands it, but they don't understand the Bible. You get what I'm saying? So now we have to start changing our minds to these customs. I love my mother, but I love the Lord more, and I have to do what he says. You believe in God, right? Do you believe in the Bible? Sure. Okay, very good. So now I'm going to show you something that's written inside of the Bible, right? So you mentioned, um, you know, holidays that we take off, right? that we celebrate such as Mother's Day and you reference Valentine's Day. 
Now, those are not holidays that you can find inside of the Bible. So let me show you what happened. Watch this. Excuse me. This is the book of Ecclesiasticus, chapter 33 and verse 7. Why doth one day excel another, when as all the light of every day in the year is of the sun? So now that's kind of to your point that we should take this time and celebrate our parents every day, right? By the knowledge of the Lord were they distinguished. So now through the knowledge of the Lord, they were distinguished. So he created different days for different purposes. Watch this. And he altered seasons and feasts. Some of them hath he made high days and hollowed them. And some of them hath he made ordinary days. Okay, so he made high days and he made ordinary days. So for your edification, or matter of fact, let me ask you a question. Where can we find God's high holy days at that we are supposed to keep? Um, Easter. <laughs> hmm? Like days to celebrate God. Uh, the days inside the Bible that he told us to celebrate. Okay, good. So let me show you where it's fine, sis. It's fine, Mo. It's fine, Mo. It's okay. But this is why we're doing this for exchange of information, right? So let me show you where you can find it. Watch this. This is the book of Leviticus, chapter 23 and verse 1. And the Lord spake unto Moses, saying, Speak unto the children of Israel, and say unto them, Concerning the feast of the Lord, which ye shall proclaim to be holy convocations, even these are my feasts. Six days shall work be done. But the seventh day is the Sabbath of rest. You see that? So here in Leviticus chapter 23 is where we can find the days that the Lord told us to, to, to celebrate. You understand? So for your edification, when you get a little time, Mo, you should take some time and read. And then you can learn what days to keep, right? Is that fair? Okay. The Lord Most High in Christ bless. I'm here with my brother. Richard. So Richard, I got some quick questions for you. Can you tell us, tell us about Mother's Day? Um, it's a unique day where we celebrate the, everything we've done, everything our mothers have done for us, you know. And while it should be a day that should be celebrated every single day because, you know, they've carried us since their womb. But, of course, we can't have that focus on every single day because we have other things to do. But um, it means a lot for everyone. And I don't think it's just for, like, females, you know. It's also for people who have played that surrogate role in order to help us and protect us and, you know, raise us as strong and individual people. Okay. Do you know anything about the origins of Mother's Day? No, I don't actually. So, do you think that... So, let me ask you a question. Do you believe in God at all? Yeah, I'm a Christian. You're a Christian? Oh, well, I guess it, it relates to, like, um, Virgin Mary or something, maybe? Virgin Mary? I would assume so. Okay. In the Bible is actually where we find the holidays we're supposed to keep, right? Because according to the Bible, you and I, the blacks, Hispanics, Native Americans, we God's chosen people, which is the children of Israel. Did you know that? Absolutely. All praises. So let's get that. This is the book of Leviticus, chapter 23, and verse 1. And the Lord spoke unto Moses, saying, Speak unto the children of Israel, and say unto them concerning the feast of the Lord, which ye shall proclaim to be holy convocations. So we're about to read one of the high holy days that we should keep in the Bible. Even these are my feasts. Six days shall work be done, but the seventh day is the Sabbath of the of rest a holy convocation you shall do no work therein that's it so the sabbath day is a day that god said that we should keep we should keep you understand oh i understand because you know he when he did come to moses you know what i'm saying he did came to moses and said as a nation of people we're gonna have to repent right okay mm -hmm. and you're gonna find these uh, uh uh people in these caves and they're gonna come out and when they come out, they're going to take over the world until my second coming. And as a nation of people, we all have to repent. Mm -hmm. So, so, so that pretty much we are God's children. Right. So as, God, so as God's children, we got to get back to, to this, to back. right? Yeah. Colossians 2 and 8. So, so, so far, we, we, so far, my brother Nate, you, 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 under, you, you kind of getting the understanding that the, the, what America calls Mother's Day is not a it's holiday? Not, it's not a holiday. So let me ask you something. Um, are, are you a Christian? Yeah, I'm a Seventh-day Adventist. All praises, all praises. So let me ask you a question. Um, as a believer in God, do you think that, is, is Mother's Day in the Bible? I don't know. You don't know? I don't know. Would it be okay if I ask you if you think how God feels about Mother's Day? 
I think God feel okay about Mother's Day because God is the one who make mothers. Do you think God wants us to celebrate Mother's Day? Yes. Why do you say that? Because God's mother, um, Mary gave birth to God, like, and the Bible it says to respect and honor thy mother and father. Okay, so you're building on two very solid points. So let me show you what you said basically in the Bible. But I want you to notice something that Christ said in return. Okay, watch this. This is the book of Luke chapter 11 and verse 27. And it came to pass as he spoke these things, a certain woman of the company lifted up her voice. So now a certain woman of the company who was observing Christ dealing with the people, right? So she came to the disciples while he was teaching. And said unto him, Blessed is the womb that bore thee, and the paps which thou hast sucked. So now, this woman, in her excitement that Christ was there, said, Blessed is the womb that bore you, bear you, right? Referring yeah. to Mary. Okay? You, you understand? Yeah. Watch this. But he said, Yea, rather, blessed are they that hear the word of God and keep it. So it's so what Christ was basically showing you says blessed are they that keep the commandments of God. So it's not so much as Mother's Day and celebrating the mother. It's more about keeping God's commandments. What is the purpose of Mother's Day? The purpose? The purpose. To, it's celebrate, easy to celebrate the mothers. Okay, so now my next question is, is that okay in the sight of God to celebrate our mothers? So why do you say yes? Because, That's a good point. I mean, why not? We give life. Well, not me, but, you know, mothers, women in general give life. So why not celebrate? Them? Okay, that's a good point. So let me show you what Christ, our Lord and Savior, said in response to that. Watch this. This is the book of Luke, chapter 11 and verse 27. And it came to pass, as he spoke these things, a certain woman of the company lifted up her voice and said unto him. So watch this. So a certain woman lifted up her voice in the presence of Christ, right? And listen to what the woman said. She had the same reserve that you did. Watch this. Blessed is the womb that bore thee and the paps which thou hast sucked. But he Right, so the womb, referring to the belly, and then obviously you know what the paps are, that give milk. But he said, yea, rather, blessed are they that hear the word of God and keep it. So that was Christ's response to the woman who said, blessed is the womb that gave you, right, that brought you into this earth. So he said, no, blessed is the person who keeps God's commandments, right? So you see that? So it's not so much as... Uh, you know, celebrating our mother as it is keeping God's commandments, such as his high holy days, right? You understand? Okay, very good. So let me show you one more thing. You got time still, right? Okay, watch this. Go to Exodus chapter 20 and verse 12. This is the book of Exodus chapter 20 and verse 12. Honor thy father and thy mother. That thy days may be long upon the land which the Lord thy God giveth thee. So look, so when we come out here to deal with you, we're not, you know, saying there's nothing wrong with having a level of reverence for your mother and your father. Right. For example. But we're not. We're, what we're saying is, is that celebrating it goes against what the Bible says. Now, watch this. Jump up to verse two. This is the book. Of Exodus chapter 20 and verse 2. I am the Lord thy God, which have brought thee out of the land of Egypt, out of the house of bondage. Thou shalt have no other gods before me. So now granted, you didn't necessarily say your mother, for example, is a god, but you celebrate her as one. So this is a pagan tradition and we're not supposed to do it according to the Bible. As much as we love, because I love my mother, just as much as you love your mother, right Mo? But the Bible says we can't have nobody before him at the end of the day. This is the book of Colossians chapter 2 and verse 8. Beware lest any man spoil you through philosophy and vain deceit. After the tradition of men. After the rudiment of the world and not after Christ. Right. So that is telling us that we're supposed to look to the scriptures on what, 
holidays we're supposed to keep. You understand? Oh, yeah. So we, so we, so that's the whole. That's why we're out here to bring that knowledge out to our people that Mother's Day is actually not of God. Would you agree? I agree. Do you think that anything we said today was hate speech? No, it's you, the truth. Is it again? It's the truth. But you got to remember, America is not ready for the truth. It's not ready, my brother. I appreciate your time. So let me ask you a quick question. Was anything we said offensive? Not to me, nah. Okay, would you say this was a form of hate speech? Nah, not to me. Okay, thank you. Thank you for your time and patience, and hopefully you was edified in that, okay? Okay, so what if I told you that the celebration of Mother's Day is not actually in the Bible? What would you say? I would say okay. You say okay? Maybe. So I would, have to, I would have to hear an elaboration on that. You have to hear elaboration on that? Yeah. Okay, so let's let's build real quick. Are you ready to build? Build? Build, like, or gain knowledge? Yes, yes. Okay, so let's go to the book of Leviticus chapter 23. So, mm -hmm. so in the book of Leviticus, right, chapter 23 specifically, it lists some high holy days, right? All right. This is the book of Leviticus chapter 23 and verse 1. Mm -hmm. And the Lord spoke unto Moses, saying, Speak unto the children of Israel, and say unto them concerning the feast of the Lord which ye shall proclaim to be holy convocations. Even these are my feasts. So the Bible tells us what feasts. What, today what we call holidays, like we say it's Christmas a holiday, the Bi Bible calls it feasts. Yeah. So let me ask you a question. What does Mother's Day teach us to do to our mothers? Let's see. Does, it, does, does Mother's Day teach us to obey them? In a sense, yeah, probably a little bit. So you basically said no. Not exactly, yeah. Not exactly. I don't say not exactly. Does it teach us to worship them, though? No. You don't think so? Well, in a sense, maybe if you think of celebration is worship, then yeah. But if you don't, then no. Right. So the fact that mothers have a day where they receive gifts and they're honored, it's like, it's like a birthday. You don't think that's a form of worship? It could be. But would you consider it worship if someone celebrated your birthday? I would, I would, I would think so. Yes, you want to know why? Why? Because it's a feast or whatever you eat. Your family. Because God never commanded us to do that. Okay. So you don't, you don't, do you think that's a fair resolve? To celebrate Mother's Day, even though God commanded us not to do it. No, I'm saying, do you think it's fair a fair resolve if someone chooses not to celebrate something that God did not tell them to celebrate? I think that's fair. Yeah, it's fair. Especially as a Christian. Yeah. Okay. So let's go to the book of. Um, Exodus chapter 20. You know what I want? Yes, sir. Okay. You said Exodus? Yeah, my bad. I'm, okay. I was meant to. <laughs> yeah. This is the book of Exodus chapter 20 and verse 2. Thou shalt have no other gods before me. So, you don't want to know why that's heavy? Why? It's because what's actually happening on Mother's Day, we're actually making our mothers gods. We're, we're, it's a form of worship. You, we don't think it is. You want to know why we don't think it is? Because it's a tradition. We've, do, we've been doing this so long, we've become desensitized to where it looks like, well, this is regular life. I'm not worshiping my mom. I'm not lighting candles and bowing down and saying, mom. No, because today it's more modernized. You get what I'm saying? Now, if I, like if I was to say, my brother, who are you according to the Bible? What would you say? Son of God. A son of God. Yeah. So let's see what God says the sons of God are supposed to do. Read that again. Read it again. This is the book of Exodus, chapter 20, and verse 2. Uh -huh. Thou shalt have no other gods before me. Uh -huh. Thou shalt not. You want That's it? That's it? Right. So God said we should not have no other gods before him, right? So now let's go to Colossians 2 and 8. This is the book of Colossians, chapter 2, and verse 8. Beware lest any man spoil you through philosophy and vain deceit. The, the, the word God is telling the sons of God, don't let no one trick you to believe a man's imagination and lies. That's what philosophy is of man's imagination, what he thinks. And deceit is lies. It's something that's not true. After the tradition of men. After the traditions of men, which is what? Like, give me an example of what is a tradition of men. That specifically focused on Father's Day? What else? Let's see. Um... You said Father's Day. What else? Specifically geared towards men. No, it doesn't have to be geared towards men. Just in general. Oh, just the traditions in general? Yeah. Christmas. What else? Uh, Thanksgiving. 
What else? Halloween. What else? You cooking up? Uh, tradition, traditions. Um, Valentine's Day. Yeah, Valentine's Day too. I uh, guess what? What? All of those things is idolatry, because it's not found in the Bible. Is Mother's Day something we were commanded to keep? Say that again. Is Mother's Day something we were commanded to keep and observe? I'm not sure. Okay, that's fair. That's fair. So what you'll see is that Mother's Day is not found inside of the Bible. But there are high holy days that we were given to keep in the Bible. Can I show that to you? Yes. Watch this. This is the book of Leviticus chapter 23 and verse 1. And the Lord spake unto Moses, saying, Speak unto the children of Israel, and say unto them, Concerning the feast of the Lord, which ye shall proclaim to be holy convocations, even these are my feasts. So this here in Leviticus chapter 23 is where we can find all of God's holidays, right? Well, not all of them, but this is where you find a majority of them to learn. Now, Mother's Day is not found there, but this is what happened over time. Can we go to Colossians chapter 2, verse 8? So let me show you according to the Bible. And then I, there was something else you said that I want to touch upon and, and share with you, because what you said about honoring your father and mother is accurate. Watch this. This is the book of Colossians chapter 2 and verse 8. Beware lest any man spoil you through philosophy and vain deceit. After the traditions of men So Mother's Day for example Was never ordained by God A lot of people believe in God But they follow after their own traditions You understand? So Mother's Day You know was created as a selling point So we have tons of people out here Spending tons of money to celebrate their mother When we know they're supposed to celebrate them How often a year? Every day Every solitary day right? 365 days a year Finish that out after the rudiments of the world and not after Christ. And not after Christ. So a lot of the things that we do are after this world and not after the gospel of Christ. Go to Exodus chapter 12, 20 verse 12. So let me show you in the Bible what you said is accurate. This is the book of Exodus chapter 20 and verse 12. Honor thy father and thy mother that thy days may be long upon the land which the Lord thy God giveth thee. Right, so that makes sense. That's exactly what you said. So when we question people regarding Mother's Day, it's not because we, um, that we're against the idea of having, yeah, having a, no, not to, we don't celebrate it, but having a reverence for our parents. Mm -hmm. So let me show you what we are supposed to do and how we're supposed to honor them. Can you give me Sirach chapter 3 and verse 8? So let me show you how we're supposed to do it. So this will, you know, hopefully edify you. Watch this. This is the book of Ecclesiasticus chapter 3 and verse 8. Honor thy father and mother both in word and deed. So that's how we're supposed to honor our mother and father, not celebrate them. Because the Bible says that we can't have no other gods before him. Right? Mm -hmm. You agree? Yeah. So now, with that being said, this is how we do this. So if it's okay with you, can I ask, was there any offense, anything offensive that I said? No, none one second. Were you edified in the things that were being brought out? Yeah. And was this any form of hate speech? No. That's awesome. Thank you for your time. You're welcome. This is the book of Luke, chapter 11 and verse 27. And it came to pass as he spoke these things. A this is Christ speaking, right? A certain woman of the company lifted up her voice. And what, does, what did this woman said? And said unto him, Blessed is the womb that bore thee and the paps which thou hast sucked. So the woman is basically saying, well, exalt your mother because she gave birth to you. Would you agree that's what she was saying? When she I said think blessed, so. Right? Yeah. Okay. Let's see what Christ says. <laughs> but he said, yea. Rather, blessed are they that hear the word of God and keep it. So before you go, my sister, what do you think we should do? Should we follow the high holy days God gave us or should we follow the high holy days that we learned here in America? I think you should follow the days that God gave you. All right, my sister. Enjoy the rest of your day. Thank you. Well, good. So now let me ask you a quick question. What's your thoughts on this conversation? informational okay that's good to hear so now was anything i said offensive no i don't think so okay good
good. I didn't feel offended. <laughs> awesome. So now, was anything I said hateful? No. That's good. I'm glad, Mo. Well, I won't take up any more of your time. Thank you. Hopefully, you were edified on what was brought out, and uh, you have a good day, okay? Okay. So, how should we show appreciation towards the people that we love? How should we show appreciation towards the people that we love? Mm-hmm. Being that we're talking about Mother's Mother's Day, the, you're, you're basically asking, well, how do we love our mothers, correct? Yeah, without worshiping them, as you said. Can I get Ciroc, the one that you pulled? Ciroc, was that? Ciroc 3 and... Mm-hmm. This is the book of Ecclesiasticus, chapter 3 and verse 8. Honor thy father and mother, both in word and deed. So how you show love? Is you obey them and do what they say. You see what I'm saying? And what they're supposed to be teaching you is what God says. So I have a question. What if they ask you to celebrate Mother's Day? So now this is what you have to do. Um, give me Matthew 10, and I want I think it's verse 36. Because at the you might say to me, Well, if God tells me to do something, right? No, I want I want the one in Luke. Let's get the one in Luke first, eleven and twenty seven. If, if, if God says something, right, and, I, and my parents want me to do opposite, who do I choose? Who do you think you should choose? God. Would you be dishonoring your parents if you do what God tells you to do? Or would you be actually honoring them? Well, it can go both ways. It can go both ways? It, depending on their opinions and how they feel about it. Okay. But if, you would, in a sense, you could be dishonoring God. All right. You know. So let's deal with this. We're gonna take we're gonna take our time because we're building. Okay. This is the book of Luke, chapter eleven and verse twenty-seven. And it came to pass as he spoke these things, a certain woman of the company lifted up her voice mm -hmm. and said unto him, Blessed is the womb that bore thee, and the path that thou hast sucked. So this woman came to Jesus Christ, right, and said, Blessed be your mom. Because she bore you and she nourished you. She fed you milk. Let's see what Christ said. Do you think Christ dishonored his mom? Mm, no, I'm no. saying, do you think, based on your knowledge, did Christ dishonor his mom based on what you know about Jesus Christ? I would say no. No, right? Yeah. So would you say, who did Christ put first? Did Christ put his father in heaven first or did he put his mother that bore him first? His father in heaven. Okay, let's read. But he said, yea. Rather, blessed are they that hear the word of God and keep it. So, the, see, that answered your question. The woman came saying, basically, she was saying, that's why he responded that way. She's saying, worship your mom. She's saying, let's worship his mom. Bless me the paps that you sucked in that, the woman, the, the womb that bore you. But Christ said, no, Wor blessed are they that do the will of the Father. You hear his word and do it. So, let me ask you some questions. What did you learn today? I learned that Mother's Day can be seen as, oh, is a form of worship. Mm -hmm. um, I learned why that's a thing, because you showed me the examples from um, the Bible. And overall, it just helps you really think, think about Mother's Day in general, and Father's Day, and other celebrations such as that, and what it really means, you know, uh, under the surface level. Right, right, right. So do you think anything we brought out was hate? No, I don't think so. I think it would only be hatred, or it could only be perceived as hatred, really. I don't think it was actual hatred, no. Why would it be perceived as hatred? Because some people just do not like the truth mm. and reject the truth as much as they can. Mm. And you like the truth? I like the objective truth, yes. So you believe that we came in the spirit of love? Yes. All praises, my brother. Of course. I Hope thank you for your time. Day. Yes, sir. Take care. Yeah, Shalom, shalom, most high Christ bless. It's Officer Bakar here. Officer Mikhail. We just finished our Cuts from the Streets Mother's Day edition. We reached out with the people. Officer, tell us, how, how was it? It was amazing. Uh, you know, we met the people where they were at. A lot of them didn't know the truth about Mother's Day, and we informed them. And we had a lot of good and positive feedback from them. So all glory to the Father that this word went out, and we had the opportunity to build here in Connecticut, here in Waterbury. Yes, sir. So this is what we need you guys to do. We need you guys to support Connecticut. All right. Make sure you guys subscribe right now. So this will conclude this edition of Cuts from the Streets Mother's Day. Shalom.